Get ready to embark on an exciting journey through space. This October, NASA has planned its golden asteroid mission, which is set to explore Psyche. This is a 140-mile-long asteroid located in the belt between Mars and Jupiter. Scientists say Psyche is made up of iron, nickel, and even gold. NASA claims if extracted, it would be worth $10 quadrillion. Joining us now to give us more insight on NASA's golden asteroid mission is former astronaut Jose Hernandez. Hey there, Jose. Hello, Kelsey. Ten quadrillion dollars. I mean, I did the math, and do you know that if we were to mine the whole the the, uh, the, the whole surface, all those materials, and cash them in, every person on Earth would be a billionaire. Well, that Isn't sounds that really cool? nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, can you kind of give us your take on this mission, tracking down the golden asteroid? It really sounds like a mission from a movie. Is it even possible? It is possible for us to get on the surface and uh, and actually do some measurements for uh, uh, on, on this uh, 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 surface. Uh, what we think really is is that it's a planetesimal core, which is either the beginning or the remnants of the inner core of a planet being formed. And for some reason, it must have collided with other asteroids and uh, and it stopped uh, the process of forming a, a planet. But we believe that this is the actual beginnings, the inner core of what's inside our own planet, uh, which is molten, but ours is under so much pressure, it's molten metal in, uh, down there. And this one obviously cooled off and got exposed by so many collisions. And now it could be mined. And so I think that's what NASA is looking at is to send instruments to be able to actually do the measurements. Uh, it also has, uh, I think you mentioned all the uh, the materials, of, including uh, platinum and gold that, that it has on there too. Which and are it's precious fascinating metal. what the technology can do out there. I mean, to mine an asteroid. What do you think is the ulti ultimate mission, the ultimate goal of this mission? Well, I think it, the ultimate a goal of this mission is first of all to determine if it is a core, uh, second determine its age, and third offer insights as to um, the inners uh, of our own planet, what's inside our own planet, spinning around creating that magnetic field, and and uh, finally uh, give us insight as to how this um, galaxy and and universe was created because I think we have sort of a snapshot of either a, a planet dying away or a planet being formed. And I think that's very uh, crucial information to put into that whole puzzle of how the universe was created. I'm ready for that billion dollars, Jose. Wow. Okay, here, also, <laughs> moving on to some breaking news this week. So new research from the James Webb Telescope, it says that Saturn's moon has the necessary conditions to support life. Uh, what do you make of this? Could it one day have a human colony? That's correct. Um, you know, Saturn has 100 and I believe it's 146 moons and one of them, Enceladus, uh, it was determined that the the telescope uh, was able to determine that it had about six of the elements to sustain life there, in other words, to create DNA. But that seventh element, which is phosphorus, was actually detected with when Cassini went uh, and orbited uh, Saturn and was able to take measurements and found that in, indeed it also has phosphorus, thus leading us to believe that it has all the building blocks to create DNA. So what we really need to do is we really need to go back to that surface there and see if we can see any life. Uh, it won't be intelligent life, but it could be microorganism type of life that we could find in the uh, in the bottom of the icy oceans uh, that exist on the surface of that uh, of that moon. Wow, just really incredible. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.